If you're thinking about getting Monday.com, watch this video and you will thank me by the end of the video. If you don't believe me, just look at the comments and the thumbs ups from this video and you're going to see why. So quick little story time, all right? Uh, about a year ago, I'm at a business retreat and a lot of people come in from different places to this retreat. I'm in San Antonio and there's this one funny guy that I don't really know very well, but I don't know quite what he does. I know he's got a lot of different businesses and complexity to his business and his name's Dan and he's from Switzerland and he, he, he sees me and he goes, oh, you, he's like, yeah, he's like, I was looking at monday.com and I saw your video and I, I was like, I watched your video. It was so good. And I used your link. So he used my affiliate link and I was like, oh, cool, man. I'm like, thanks for the feedback. I appreciate it. So that happened last year. And then just a few days ago, I see him again at a business retreat. Okay. And he comes up to me and he's telling me how much he likes the tool, how well it's working for him, the audience automations, but he's like, there's one tragic flaw to monday.com that he wish he knew before he got started. So that is what this video is about. So the thing that he said that was the big issue is if you recall, and if you've seen my other videos, and I'll link to them at the end of this video, if you haven't watched them, they're about monday.com tutorials showing you how the platform works, definitely worth watching. But in those videos, I talk about automation. So there are different automations that Monday has here. So like these are things like if this happens, then automatically do this type of thing. And he said they ran into a really big issue because they had kind of like a person who was pretty integral to a bunch of different uh, boards as, as far as um, you know uh, the way their automation flow worked. So that person wasn't working out on the team. So they were let go from the position but what they didn't know is when they let that person go, all of their automations that were built into all these different projects throughout Monday.com were also deleted, okay? So he said there's a simple workaround for this so that you don't end up in this terribly frustrating situation, and I'm gonna explain it to you right now through a drawing. So this drawing right here, very simple, doesn't need to be, everything doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to have good content, right? So an automation decision tree. Uh, will this automation, this is the question you need to ask when you're making any automation in monday.com, will this automation affect anyone else's workflow in any way possible? If the answer is no, the automation can be set up at the individual user account. All right. So an example of that might be like, let's say um, your, uh, you know, you, it's your to-do list, and you just want to create some automations for your own personal to-do list within Monday.com. Cool. But if you are in a team environment, which probably most people are using Monday.com, if that automation affects other people's work, then you know you were saying yes. Then you need a super user account now. Super user account, that's just the name that I gave it, right? Um, but this is kind of like um, one additional user in your Monday profile, all right? So maybe it costs you an extra eight, 12 bucks a month or something like that. But any automation that is going to affect anybody else's workflow whatsoever will be created by that user, okay? And what this does is it's not attached to an actual employee. You're not doing some weird thing where you're like renaming something because it used to be Janet and now it's Dave because the ops manager's been replaced or something. You always have that additional account. Um, I should take a quick mention too. Uh, I, I try to do these update videos because I can't make perfect content every single time. I try my best, but I learn these things because uh, Dan's experience with Monday is different than the one I have had and in his complexities that he had and he had this problem and I wanted to make you aware. Um, there is a, an affiliate link in the description below. You still get a free trial. You still get the best possible pricing. But if you use my link, it helps to encourage me to keep making these videos to help save other people from headaches like this. So last little bit of information I want to share with you though is if you're um, doing this, the way you can think about it is, let's say you start up a, a, a consulting agency or something like that, like a marketing consulting agency. If you're invoicing clients, a lot of times you'll see this, somebody will like send it from the person actually invoicing like Debbie in accounting, but then you'll see it at like billing at brandname.com. And that extra email address is created 
so that you have that catch-all kind of user account. So when Debbie goes away, you can import or you know input Jim, and this account is still there, and Jim can look at all of the history of billing of that super user account, right? So you kind of get what I'm getting at now. So what it does is this is gonna make it more plug and play for you in the future so that you don't run into the issue that Dan did where there's a bunch of heartache. And what I'm trying to do in this video too is sometimes there's some painful experiences and Dan had to go through that, but in some cosmic way, I want it to be a, make for a lot of good for other people that you don't have to go through that experience. So what you're gonna see on the screen over here is my most updated Monday tutorial. If you haven't gone through that, I highly suggest it. But this was the one thing that that video was really missing. And in the future, I will add other video updates like this too if I get feedback from people in the community. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.